Hi guys, I'm, uh, this is my first time to do unboxing. I received my Samsung order, so I'm gonna try to see what it is. I ordered some stuff, so I'll show it to you. Um, an active two smartwatch that's there and I ordered also a this is a um, silicone cover for the S21 5G phone Samsung and um, I also ordered earbuds so that's uh, there and that's it I have this S21 Samsung Galaxy S21 5G uh, to open it's still close There it is. I'm gonna open it up. Oops. Yeah. Right. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and no, I did not forget this bad boy, the S21. I have it in here. Let's go ahead, unbox this bad boy, and then start gaming. <laughs> So as you can clearly see, there is nothing in the box in terms of charger and headphones that is no longer there with the S21 series. Uh, another thing to mention is there's also no support for MST, which is the payment system that can replicate credit cards. I just found that out today. But let's talk about gaming on the Galaxy S21. First of all, the Phantom Violet S21 is a gorgeous looking device. That gold trimming around the camera, the the phantom violet color looks really nice this is glastic at the back but it feels really good they've done a good job here on this device now in terms of internals we're looking at the snapdragon 888 yes this version i'm holding has the snapdragon 888 i will be getting the exynos version of the s21 ultra so stay tuned for that but this is the 888 with eight gigabytes of RAM in here and storage starts from 128 gigabytes. Now you've got 4,000 milliamp battery. It's a 5G device, of course, I would expect with the integrated SOC for that. So all that is packed in to your device. Now, what about the display? We've got a full HD plus display, which is the first time for Samsung, right? Usually it's usually QHD plus or QHD. This is a full HD plus display, 6.2 inches, 120 Hertz. So as you're going to see the games in 60 FPS, I'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, maybe some Genshin Impact just a little bit, just so you guys can see how this actually performs. And then we can begin. The, 
this Samsung Galaxy S21 5G doesn't come with a charger but it's a good thing my son has a charger so he gave me one so this is it for the phone okay inside is this pin and uh, there's my phone I ordered uh, a gray colored uh, phone okay I don't know yet how to operate this one because I'm using iPhone all the time so this is the first time that I'm trying Samsung Samsung S21 Galaxy phone I don't know what else is here. Oh, here's the the USB cable with a quick start guide. The USB cable. Okay. Now I get the phone. And the earbuds. Let's see the earbuds. The earbuds comes with its own charger, I think. Yes, this is the... Mm. It comes with all this uh, tiny thing for the ears. And the charger. And then... This is uh, the packaging. comes with this and there it is very cute so as I've said I don't know yet how to operate all these together so I still have to read the manual oh by the way this is the active S2 smartphone that I also ordered from them so I will not say the price if you want to check for the price just go to their website samsung.com and um, they also offer uh, if you want to pay like for a year or for two years or for three years they have also that plan there if you don't want to pay in full one time okay this is how it looks Samsung Active Active 2 and here's the the watch I don't know yet how to operate all these <laughs> I just ordered them so that's it
functionality. So starting off with design, the watch I have here is the aluminum aqua black model. It's very nice. You have corn and gorilla glass on the front and back, a solid aluminum casing, and the buttons on the side are tactile and responsive. One thing I do want to mention is that the Galaxy Watch that I reviewed last year had this issue with the back button where it was kind of loose. I don't get that with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. Everything feels nice and well built. The speaker is loud. I've been rough with this watch for the last couple of weeks and I don't see any scratches on the screen. So I am impressed overall with the design of the Galaxy Watch Active 2. If I had to knock Samsung for anything, it would be that I would love to see them include a solid black aluminum version of the display. I think Samsung has done another good job at making a sharp, crisp, colorful display. It's bright and outdoors, but I do think that this is a great display. Now, moving on to the second section of this review, let's talk about the operating system. I think Samsung has done another good job with the Tizen 4 operating system. Everything from the quick pull down menu to going through notifications and widgets, everything feels buttery smooth. In my opinion, I think the step tracking on this watch is excellent. Now, moving on to the heart rate sensor, I feel like you get varied results throughout the day. And I think this is because you're constantly moving and sometimes your wrist isn't really in a resting spot where you can get an accurate measurement. And then finally, I use it as a sleep tracker and I feel like I did a pretty good job measuring my sleep activity. What Bixby can do though, is it can allow you to go hands-free and set up certain settings in the watch, like increase or decrease the screen brightness or put it in good night mode. It can even calculate simple formulas. In my testing though, sometimes it was sluggish to react to my voice. Other times it worked really well. You have several thousands of watch faces to choose from in the Galaxy App Store. So if you're going out on the town or going to work out, you really have unlimited possibilities to tailor this watch to your active lifestyle. So to summarize my review of the Galaxy Watch Active 2, I think it's a great watch. I think it does a lot of things really well. There are some things that Samsung can improve upon like Bixby and maybe offering other color options in the aluminum version. But other than that, I think it's a great watch. And if you own a Galaxy phone or any Android phone, I think this is a great watch That's to pick it. up for this holiday. I'll still have to read the manual and I hope you'll enjoy this short unboxing for all my Samsung stuff. That's it for today. Bye.